in police custody are as viewers know and as the north coast times have reported on its website and facebook page accused rapist and child murderer troy ellis 27 was captured sunday night he was about 24 hours after he escaped custody of the police at the St. Anne's Bay Hospital. He had been in hospital having attempted suicide following the rape and murder of nine-year-old Talia Thompson in Discovery Bay. After his capture by the license of Aram Hula, Ellis was taken to the Discovery Bay police station. But there are no questions about what happened after. He had been handcuffed and left on a bench at the guard room. There are some questions for you to answer. Expletives have been bleeped out. Should he have been videotaped or photographed in that era? Should any civilian have had access to the suspect? Should the police have allowed the woman seen in the video to accuse him? Should the police have intervened? Was it possible that Ellis could have been further harmed by a civilian while in police custody? Is what is shown here an acceptable situation? Watch. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Me you earth yeah. No, 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 get yourself in no trouble. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shaggy, man. <laughs> I could have anybody fit you, me have that at all. Let me see my own room, my 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 Tell me what make a beat. Yeah. I'm gonna feel what feel I'm gonna feel she said no, man, don't man, it's not good. I'm going to turn, it's like my run. But someone going to do this thing, come on, i go down to the No. Where you last? Send to I'm going so make your own friend is secure today. The black pops from your phone, you know, grandson.